Hello. Hello. Right, should be good to go. <clears throat> What's up, Bernice? We're about to get another reaction today. We are hopping into Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode number four, season number seven, called Help. Hopefully, it's a good episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction, uncut episodes if you want them. If you don't, totally cool episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode, previous episode, we had, I mean, it's been a while. It's probably been a month since I've watched the previous episode because we were all like on our angel binge kind of thing where we had to catch up on like four or five angel episodes. But uh, last episode was Willow showed up. She's back. Um, when she didn't show up, she made it back. They did this really cool thing where we could see Willow. But it was like in an alternate timeline. Like they weren't like we were the same things were happening, but we weren't seeing each other. That's what it felt like in the end. It was just that Willow is invisible to certain people. I thought that was actually really cool. Really creepy villain that was eating skin and stuff. Really creepy, creepy villain. Um, yeah, the ending was uh, Buffy and Willow in bed. Um, kind of like like they you know olden days, kind of like just talking. And yeah, I mean. Was there anything with Spike? I can't remember anything with Spike. I mean, he's going through his shit still. Buffy still works at the school. So yeah, we're gonna hop in here, have a good old time. Here we go. Spike's insane in the school basement. Sanders there doing only way I know how. <laughs> What's this? Willa? We brung her? The thing has a freaking child lock on it. Yeah, kind of counselor, actually. You don't need a degree to be a guidance counselor. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> Hello. Okay. Come in. Hi. Why are you guys in here? I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I know him. That's fine. <clears throat> serious. I don't want to talk. Okay. You know I hate to miss. Bob. Hey, I know him too. Come speak with you. So what's on your mind? On my mind. I feel left out, but but I'm also concerned about uh, the girls. He's here because you're pretty. <laughs> okay, I'm just <clears throat> bored. <clears throat> oh. Maybe I should get back to bio. Why don't you go on a, a date with me so I can be sure? This dude needs to get slapped in the head. What the fuck kind of? And I would have punched you. Sounds like it's difficult for you. Like, maybe your sister. Ended. Talk like that is taken pretty seriously where I come from. The hood. The hood. Beverly <laughs> Hills. <laughs> Which is a hood. She said the hood. Listen, the that is fucking hilarious. I, scared. I couldn't bust a move in high school, let alone someone. Oh, oh, what did you hit? Oh, she said put on a sweater. This girl can see the future, bro. Not just her own death, but like. <clears throat> Come on, design something. I mean, maybe we can get matching tattoos. Where do I know her from? Like a snake with some fire it would have been a show like hmm. this uh, time period. The girl that wiggles when you flex. Yeah. I went to you with back in my day. Love poems. I'm over you now, sweetie. <laughs> 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 All I'm saying is that this is normal teen stuff. Yeah. Join. Talking about killing yourself? No, of course not. Then fight. Try. There's no point. I told you. This doesn't sound like Can you help? Really Can you like tell us? <laughs> you think I want this? You think I don't care? Believe me, I want to <laughs> be here. I don't know why and I don't know how, but something out there is gonna kill me. She doesn't. <clears throat> the fuck ritual shit is this? <clears throat> Oh, the coins again. <clears throat> I don't get it. She's a loner. She doesn't do anything to bother people. Why would somebody want her dead? What a dick, yo. He's been in the show before, too, right?
I think it is this guy. So I think the girl's gonna die anyway. Because she was like, oh, you're gonna try to help and you're not gonna be able to, but they wanna mess with her, why? I thought they said they wanted to mess with her. This is a suicidal vibe going. I figure if you disappear, built one like blue clam cult. We're still gonna die. I think that's the key to the raising of Lady <clears throat> That lame demon. How did it work? Wait, how did it work if they didn't kill her? Uh, the girl? Go, oh, Spike. <laughs> Spike picked up the thing. Is he gonna kill the girl? Oh no. I mean that a bit. <clears throat> help, help me, please. I'm bleeding. Sorry. See? You can make a difference. Man, that would have been crazy if she. <clears throat> and you will. Cassie. Cassie. He dies anyway. Cassie. Why? Why does she die? Cassie. Cassie. Why? When you know the baby, you can't know. <clears throat> Thought it was weird. Oh. <clears throat> All right. That was episode number four called Help. That was actually a pretty damn good episode. It had small vibes of when Buffy's mom died. Small vibes of like something regular happened. I mean, I guess something regular happens. Something you can't control. Nothing supernatural about it. Something about it. Like sometimes fate is fate. <clears throat> and no matter what you do, what you try, natural causes, natural incidences will happen and you will die. I thought it was solid though. I mean, <clears throat> I love that they gave us all these moments where you were like, oh, she can die here, she can die here, she can die here. And then at the end, died to the same thing she like, you got anyway, no matter what Buffy did, right? And it wasn't cause of like some, like Buffy failed in a sense of, Oh, I couldn't stop this bad guy or I couldn't stop this trap. Buffy couldn't have done anything to that. Her heart gave out. She had a heart defect. She dies. That's it. Um, Kind of felt good to get like a team episode where we're all trying to figure something out. Right? We all, you know, we're all helping. We're all doing stuff. Dawn feels like she's part of the Scooby gang. Pretty, pretty close at least. Like she feels like like we brought her on a mission in the night, <laughs> like unnecessary, but like she feels like she's part of it. We um I don't know. I, I like the way that they handled the episode. I like Buffy being a counselor. The only thing I don't love is that essentially the people that, that were trying to kill her were people that were just trying to get rich, I guess. I don't like the way the guy worded it. Oh, I, I know these guys. They're just trying to mess with her mess with her mother like this shit ain't messing with her we were going to kill her sacrifice her mess with her so that that was clunky to me a little bit like what that's not mess with her and then later on when like when the guy when, when buffy's there like oh it was his idea what like you guys knew she was in the crowd like in the thing and you guys were just like okay with it like did you guys think she's gonna be like oh she's cool man she'll let us kill her like she'll let us kill the girl that was a bit odd Spike is not like, so nuts. Cassie did tell Spike um, she will. She'll say it to you one day, which I'm guessing is the I love you part. 
that's the ending of the season is going to be that probably that's the end of the show is that Buffy loves Spike whatever and that's gonna be the ending and that's cool I I, I don't want Angel to end up with Spike and with um, Buffy anyway I want Cordelia to end up with Angel and you know if we could from how they're gonna try to redeem Spike man they're gonna do a, try to do that they've been I don't know how you redeem somebody that was trying to raid Buffy that's tough tough thing to do but we'll see um yeah overall i thought the episode worked it was really good and the ending was like ominous or not ominous that's the right word just very i don't know something about the ending was like just quiet no noise right it felt like different you know we have these jackasses with their ritual i feel like he's shown up before like we've seen this guy in this show before home improvement guy I don't know why we were searching lockers, but yeah, we, 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 you know, we investigated, we did, we did all these little things, barely any supernatural stuff at all in the episode, which I like a lot. I love when shows like this swerve and don't go full supernatural. So I like that a lot, but uh, yeah, I like the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did like, comment, subscribe, picture up before reaction. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.